Well, healthcare workers, they've been in the spotlight of praise during this pandemic, but really they've always been heroes. For one Youngstown surgeon, he's overcome his own trauma to help others with theirs. First News Weekend anchor Kaylee Levern is live at St. Elizabeth's, Elizabeth's Hospital in Youngstown with this story. Hi, Lexi. I'm live right now in Youngstown out front of St. Elizabeth's Mercy Health Hospital where Dr. Lucas Henn spends his days as a cardiothoracic surgeon. Now, what's special about Dr. Henn's story is it shows that even though he lost his father at a young age, he and all three of his brothers who are now surgeons are doing what they love and making their dad proud. Dr. Lucas Henn knew he was meant to be a surgeon. The first time you see a heart stop and then it comes back, it, uh, it changes your life. But the road to get there wasn't always easy. His dad died unexpectedly from a heart attack when he was just 13. Well, my mom really had two options. Her options were to fold in and say, woe is me and I can't, I can't do this. I can't, I can't raise five kids alone or turn into superwoman. And so she chose uh, the latter, thankfully for us. Now, Dr. Hen and his three brothers are all surgeons around the country, an outcome that took a lot of hard work, but one they all felt was meant to be. I, we saw that our parents were happy and they, they liked their job. Dr. Hen grew up outside of Columbus, but settled in Poland about eight years ago, bringing his surgical knowledge to the Mahoning Valley. There's no reason to leave Youngstown for your medical care, for, for your heart care, your valve care, because of the, uh, the solid work that Dr. Hen gives to his patients at Youngstown. I wouldn't have done that on that one. No, that it's a level of pressure that you can't describe to anybody else. It's just, it's, uh, yeah. I mean, you're, you're quite literally taking someone's life into your hands and there, there's no one else in the mirror when you look at it if something goes wrong. Two graphs this morning. Uh, well, it's easy to, to sit back and, and, and feel bad for me, feel bad for myself that, that he wasn't around. Um, uh, you know, any time really that I started to feel those types of feelings, I, I would bury myself in work and, and try and work as hard as I possibly could. You see how my heart from this morning is feeling. Yeah, Ready for real. And even though it's been decades since he lost his father, Dr. Hen always wants to make him proud. I, I hope he is. I mean, it's... I mean, it's still hard. It was always my father's dream for us to go to medical school. A dream all four of them accomplished, but that wasn't the only one. His other dream was to uh, to be a grandfather, too. They all made that dream come true, too. Dr. Hen lives in Poland with his two kids and his wife, and he tells me he loves the pride of Youngstown, and he can't imagine living and working anywhere else. Live in Youngstown, I'm Keely Lovern for WKVN 27 First News. Lexi.